Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Stock Market Every Video. This is where we do price analysis on QQ, S&P 500, Tesla, NVIDIA, Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Meta. So we'll be doing the support and resistance levels as well as where these uh, mega cap techs will likely be bouncing and how it would affect QQ overall and the stock market overall. And as you guys can see that um, today, we have quite a bit of red day today on the heat map. Let me pull up real quick. And... So heat map today, essentially every stock was red and we have, except the seven big techs. So essentially there was just the seven mega cap tech holding up the market, making QQ green. Other than that, every single sector, you can see the financial sector, the healthcare sector, um, the utility sector, energy sector, every sector was red. So you can see SPY was a lot weaker. And so we have two arguments going forward into tomorrow. Um, if QQ and all these mega cap techs decide to just consolidate slightly, right? Consolidate doesn't mean we're rolling over, just a, a candle below uh, prior day's candle. So let's say we consolidate, we go a little bit lower, then SPY would probably roll over because SPY really has nothing to hold, hold itself up. You can see SPY is closed lower than yesterday's low already today. So that's SPY is. Daily consolidation is already on its way. This is still a daily bear flag. And what we want to see is, um, are the mega cap tech stocks going to shape up daily uptrends or are they going to just consolidate and continue their daily downtrends? If that happens, then we are going to see a lot more pullback on QQQ. And if QQQ pulls back, right, who, who's left holding the market, right? If it's this seven pulls back, you can see the rest of the market is completely red. So the financial sector doesn't pull up its weight. It's currently oversold at the moment on this daily time frame. So the financial sector doesn't bounce. The healthcare sector doesn't bounce. And tech pulls back. Then SPOT is going to confirm its daily bear flag. But if we can argue from the bull side, if the big tech continues to hold up while the financial sector gets its daily oversold bounce and healthcare sector gets bounced as well, or a couple of other sectors, then we may get a bounce for um, SPY back up. So we'll see how tomorrow changes. Essentially, today is an inside bar for QQQ. So let's take a look at the hourly charts. So hourly chart was interesting. So we pretty much essentially double top with Friday's top right here. You can see in the morning, exact, pretty much exactly on the dots. And very stuck over on that. We flushed back in. But we didn't really break the hourly pivots. So, so this is the hourly uptrend. Double bottom here. So that's the pivot. And this was a new pivot being set right there. And then you can see when we came down to here, we never really broke below this pivot. So if we did break that pivot, then it would have been a full bull air control day. If this happened, that means that the big tech would have rolled over and everything was already red. We would have a big red day. But we can see that the bulls are playing pretty strong defense. I remember looking at the price on the five minute action and they just kept on buying up every time we um, get to those levels. And here, right here, bounced, came back, tested here again a couple of times, bounced, came back here, tested for another 10 minutes, bounced. And you can see bulls are just playing defense and didn't want to get through that. We did flush down below this one by a couple of pennies, but um, you can see bulls still playing defense. And throughout the end of the day, um, it may look like the bears gave up a little bit there with some shorts covering and because of this defense being played. Even with this move into the end of the day, um, the structure of the charts hasn't really changed yet. So essentially it's an inside bar and we didn't break about Friday's high. So what we want to see is um, bulls playing some offense and give us a break above the 12 EMA, which is the tail looking line, which is the exponential moving average. You can type in that and you type 12 for the indicator. And you get the same line as me. And essentially, EMA 12 is currently acting as resistance. See, we had one right here, rejection right there. Rejection so far twice today, but not today, Friday and then today. And you can see before, it was also rejecting over here as well. And when we're above it, it acts as a support. So right now I want to see us get over that as well as the high of Friday. 
the Bulls to be more confident on this bounce. Because on this bounce, we only bounced so far. Let's see here. Pretty much at that bear flag territory. So from the top of this move to the bottom of this move is 100% of the move. So 100% of the drop. On this bounce, we bounced so far to the 38.2% of this entire move. And as long as we don't get over 38.2%, it's a bear flag. We could argue that we got over above it, but it's the upper wick and we're just really close. So we can see the psychology of the bear flag is still there, meaning um, psychology of bear flag, it's a weak bounce and then more follows from the bears. So currently, if we do get a clear break above that, we also break above the 12 EMA resistance and we also break above Friday high resistance and we also negated the bear flag. So that's what I want to see from the bulls um, to give us a more confident bounce that on the next pullback, we can start shaping up the daily uptrends. Because if it's just this week, you know, 38.2%, on the next pullback, we don't have a lot of room to shape up daily uptrends. So I like to see one more leg up before we pull back for consolidation for potential daily uptrends. But we'll see. Uh, we'll take it one step at a time. We don't want to be guessing. And hourly trend will be our guide. Today is essentially just a tightening range, and we'll see which way it breaks. Hourly uptrend is still intact for me, so as long as we don't break below today's this triple bottom hourly chart pivot right there on 358.4, then we are still good to go for the bulls. All right, let's take a look at SPY. SPY, I just talked about it earlier where that bear flag is pretty much confirming almost. And if we do break below this Wednesday's low, you can see SPY's um, bounce is so much weaker. We bounce only like 30%. So we're still below 38.2%. So SPY's daily consolidation is already on its way because we went below yesterday's candle. And if we don't bounce here, then we're very likely testing the low of Wednesday, 422.29. If we break that, that's a daily bear flag confirming. And that's not a good sign because we'll be coming down to cluster of this whole structure down here, top of the structures of that whole cluster. And the bulls really want to visit that area again. So we'll see if the bulls can hold here. NASDAQ can continue to be strong, QQ, and give some um, spy some cushion and then so that the financial sector and healthcare sector decide to bounce, then we may shape up this daily um, uptrend if we do break Friday's high. Uh, bear flag still intact at this moment. So we'll see if it happens or not. Hourly is a lot weaker because hourly is already in a downtrend while QQQ held this low um, today. But decent enough bounce, but um, definitely helped a lot on that bounce, end of the day bounce because the candles on the daily chart was shaping up pretty, pretty ugly. It was like an upper wick. And, but this end of the day bounce uh, definitely negated a lot of that because uh, we were we were like down here uh, we we're about to close down here but that last hour pretty much um, came back made us close a little bit higher which gave us a little bit of a chance that we may head higher into um, see what Nasdaq do tomorrow it's gonna be key for me breaking if, if you breaks Friday's high then I am we're confident that uh, SPY can bounce as well. All right, let's take a look at um, Tesla. Tesla holding really well, if, despite how the whole market was red. And even with this delivery numbers missing, it's uh, still green. So I would, um, if I was a Tesla bull, I mean, I would be pretty happy seeing we miss our numbers, come, came back down to test. 239 and then pretty much v-shape from there but we are now over the resistance of 252 you can see very clear resistance zone triple top there this is acting as support prior well we don't get over that not much of a structural change but we can give it bull some slack today due to um qq being weak and overall market being really weak and tesla still held up so meaning we get a slight even a slight green day tomorrow that we may get a good chance of breaking this. We'll see how um, tomorrow shapes up.
NVIDIA, let's take a look here. Continue to be outperforming after its relative weakness here. It's been outperforming every day. Every day making a higher low. Higher low, higher low, higher low. Sorry, lower high. Sorry, no, higher low. So higher low just means uh, the bottom of the candle is higher than the part of the day. So that's why it's a higher low, because low just means low of the candle. See, every time it's higher, 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 higher. That's a good sign. This means that when the price drops, there's people buyers that want to buy at a higher price. And as long as hourly uptrend is intact, we never lost the hourly uptrend. And no fake outs here. It's because no hourly uptrend fake outs here. And it just continues. And it's um, definitely outperforming today as well. 3% up while QQ was pretty much up half a percent. Yeah. But we are now hitting a key resistance at four. This round is 450 zone. So we may get a pullback now, but we, we already made big enough room that, um, that is going to start favoring the bulls on the next pullback. So almost pretty much a 50% bounce now. So on the next pullback, bears have a decent chance of it confirming a daily uptrend now. So we'll see how that um, shapes up on this pullback. Because when, when we hit key resistance, it will shift from it may shift from relative strength to slightly relative weaker for a little bit. But um, or we can just break above it. But we'll see how um, so tomorrow if let's say QQ is up one percent and Nvidia just kinda like chopping around, that means it's starting to shift from relative strength to relative weaker. But uh, we don't have that yet. So we don't want to be at this moment, but uh, we'll know when it shapes up like that tomorrow. Then we will probably, if that happens, then we'll probably say consolidation is on its way, and then we'll see on the next bounce if it can confirm a daily uptrend. All right, take a look at Apple. So Apple had news about its um, heating things over and fixing the issue over the weekend. It was a software issue instead of a hardware. So I don't think they need to recall their phones. I'm not a tech expert, but um, that's what I heard. So we'll see. So that's a good, technically the good news. So I guess we bounced decently and let's take a look to see if it's still in a bear flag or not. It doesn't look like a bear flag anymore to me. Yeah, we bounced already over 50% of this initial drop. So now it's going to favor the bulls on the next pullback where they can confirm a daily uptrend. Um, yeah, I want to see us get above this 173 because you can see how many times we have tested this 173 zone right there. And we kind of rejected from it and we're rejecting from this 12 EMA as well. So I want to see a clear break above it. For me to potentially say we may come back up this top of the structure 180 again to test that and uh, give me a daily uptrend because right now it's still a daily downtrend intact. So yeah, we'll see if Apple bulls can show up a little bit more and give us that bounce and daily uptrend. It'll take a couple of days for that to form, probably into Friday or early next week if we do shape up that daily uptrend because you need a day of uh, a candle close below the, not close, candle below the yesterday's candle and now you got to break above the fire high. So it'll take a bit of time. All right, so we Amazon. All right, Amazon also bounced as well. Still looking a little bit into the bear flag. Yep, because of how the size of the drop, which is incredible drop. Like it was like 15% flush. And we're still in a bear flag territory, even though despite the big bounce, because we dropped so much, that's why the size of the move is so important, right? You know, guys know where I talk about every time the size of the bounce, or the size of the drop is so important um, because uh, it shapes up the next move. Uh, potentially for more downside or more upside. So because this drop is so big, now that even we bounced significantly from this to here was a 6% bounce and we're still in a bear flag territory under 38.2% and still under the 12 EMA. So on the next pullback, it's still going to favor the bears at this moment. But um, a 6% does have a little bit of room to work with. See if they can confirm a daily uptrend 
you guys know where I talked about this in and shoulders on over last week and that I confirm and we have hourly uptrend and hourly uptrend is still intact. So as long as the hourly uptrend is intact, we will um, continue to follow it and let the bulls continue to see if we can break above this very first structure of the strong resistance. So we are pretty much in it right now and we'll see if we can break above today's high and head up to 131 and break above this structure. If we do break up this structure, then we're going to start to negate the bear flag and more foundations for the bulls. We will have been outperforming overall. You can see barely even like dropped and we've been much reverse almost 60% of it just from eyeing it. So, so next pullback is going to favor the bulls and for a potential daily uptrend. And let's take a look at the hourly gap down V shaped. And on this pullback, we barely pulled back. And you can see we pretty much testing the high of today again. So we'll see if um, Google can break about today's high. If they do, we are back above this uh, 133 zone. So we're back to the, the top of the top zone. This is the um, top of the structure. We were at, at this zone earlier. We rejected that from Friday, but now we got back above it today. So now we're back to this zone. So if we continue to head higher, then we're going to be testing 135. And 138 would be the last resistance for test. But it, it would take um, QQQ to be strong for Google to be able to test 138. because It was quite a bit away. But the next level, we'll be testing likely 135. Okay. Microsoft. Hmm, looks like very close to the bear flag, but let's see. Yep, just on it, exactly on the dot. Um, so this mounts. I want to see us get over one three, one two. Sorry, three two one, and negate it. I want to see us at least bounce the fifty percent, which is a key resistance here at three two five. Then pull back for a daily consolidation and head higher. That's the most ideal scenario for bulls. Our bears reject right here and form that daily bear flag. So very simple. No signs of fake outs after the daily uptrend confirm. I talked about this triple bottom over uh, last week, saying that when we break above this 135, we're going to get a daily hourly uptrend and that will potentially mark the bottom of that uh, this drop. So essentially what we got from the hourly uptrend confirm right there. Um, and now it's continuing. So. Here you can see this hourly downtrend hits triple bottom, then hourly uptrend confirm, and then you see more bull follow through after that. Yeah, tomorrow I want to see us negate that bear flag, bounce up, break about today's high, and we will probably get more upside if we do break that. Meta, very clear, but also very choppy and a headache. So, I'm going to go to the four hour. There's too many candles on the hourly. Resistance, this line, resistance, 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 resistance. Um, this one was all well. resistant, resistant, finally broke above it. Bull volume follow through. And now we are at 1306. So, what I want to see is the bulls break above today's high, which is that resistance. And we're just pretty much 0.2% away or something. Let's see. Yeah, so QQ goes up half a percent tomorrow. We're definitely breaking that. Then it's obviously this 310. So 310 is going to be my next level key resistance. And then we'll see 313. Outperforming today for sure. QQ up half a percent. Facebook is up 2.2%. And now we have a big enough bounce as well where um, bulls have a lot of room to shape up daily uptrends. Look like it's a big. It's gonna be a big tiny range if we can't break above Thursday's high, this September 14th high. So we're pretty close. So we'll see if um, Meta bulls can break above that, and we don't get a tightening range anymore. Then we'll likely head up to test 318 if we can break this high. Very key. All right, that's got for you guys. And take, make sure to check the commodities video out. I already uploaded that one before this one. And feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You guys made it this far. 
or support the channel with the members button. And I do members video every weekend. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more updates. Have a rest of you guys today.